Hi, I'm Jamie, and in this episode, we'll explore some of the different naming conventions for querying lists of items. Plural queries, like articles, communicate clearly that the response will contain a collection of items, and the name itself is concise and straightforward. Moving on to action-based queries, such as get articles, these queries indicate that the aim is to retrieve something without any side effects. It's worth noting though, that this can be seen as redundant since by nature, GraphQL queries are often used to fetch data. Next, we have domain specific queries. These provide a clear indication of the type of items that will be returned. They prove extremely useful when working with queries that will return multiple types, especially with GraphQL union types. Then we come to queries with the collection suffix like article collection. These clearly highlight that the query will return a collection of items. However, the term collection can often be redundant, leading to a longer query name. Finally, we have the all prefix query, such as all articles. This emphasizes that queries will return a specific type. However, it could potentially cause confusion if a filter argument is passed, leading to not all items being returned. In the end, it's up to you on how you name your queries when designing your schema. But the most common and arguably the most intuitive approach is the plural format. It's clean, concise, and easily identifiable based on the entity that it represents. Adding arguments to filter, limit, and skip records creates a little ambiguity, making it clear what the query will return. Whatever you decide, be consistent. If you decide to use something a little unconventional or ugly, be consistent at it. Your developers will love you for it.